How you doing, guys? Uh, doing something different today. Turning, you know, camera the other way. <laughs> but, um, so this video today, I just wanted to uh, talk about a lot of people, I believe, are confused on what they should do now as a as a saved, uh, you know, person. As someone that, you know, someone, a Christian, quote unquote. Um, you know, they don't know what to do. And I know plenty of people that are still stuck in a mentality where they think, um, well, I have to go to a pastor and I have to listen to him because the pastor is the anointed one. You know, he, he's, he's the guy God has chosen to dispense information to and not really understanding what the Bible says. And that's what this video will be discussing. So, actually give me one second to change other size. How you doing? If you go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, let me see, verse 17 through 20, that actually explains what exactly you're supposed to be doing. Just go there again. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 through 20. Those verses described that we have been given the ministry of reconciliation. And I've already talked about that on other videos. And it also describes that we are ambassadors. Now, being ambassadors that we are, we are supposed to go out and help others to understand what exactly is reconciliation you know help them to understand what jesus christ actually accomplished on the cross and uh unfortunately many people they don't understand this that is what our job is is to go out and do that now you've got pastors in churches that have been calling themselves reverend which is god's name you know that, that's that's not the the pastor's name go ahead look up reverend in the bible and see who calls himself reverend it's god not not a man um but the point is these people because they're not rightly dividing some of them are just you know deceptive uh deceiving people and uh, want you to believe every all their words and never open up your bible Almost like we're living in the dark ages. You know, if you look at I mean, history, what the dark ages were, especially for uh, Christianity, the um, Catholicism at one point in time, everything, you know, they, they were, I don't, I don't know how you can explain, pretty much the most powerful religion um, in Europe at that time. And people weren't allowed to open up their Bible and read. That was a big thing if you did that. You were supposed to only believe the Pope or, or you know, the priest, whatever you call it in the Catholic religion. You couldn't open up your Bible and actually read it, you know. So, and it's kind of similar to what's going on today, except for, you know, no one's being killed or anything if they open up their Bible, you know. And um, that's what's going on today still, you know. These pastors, they don't want you to open up your Bible and read this information for yourself. So, um... That's, that's pretty much just, like I said, this is just a short video explaining to people what, you know, we're supposed to be doing. And unfortunately, many people, they don't really know what they're supposed to do. Uh, as a Christian, they, they don't even understand. Uh, mostly, again, that comes from not reading the Bible, from not rightly dividing a um, plethora of issues. But... Yeah, so just just watch out for these uh, these pastors, man. Just open up your Bible, Bible. Go go to Second Corinthians chapter five, verses seventeen through twenty. They actually explain what you're supposed to be doing as a uh, you know as a Christian now. Because uh, I hear from many people that I know, uh, they truly believe God somehow only gives special selected people uh, these pastors the ability to understand the Bible. I literally had someone explain this to me. They told me, they said, you cannot understand the Bible because God has not gifted you with that ability. 
And I said, well, every, as long as you can read and write, <laughs> you know, you know, as long you know, you can read the Bible. As long as you have ears, ears, you can, uh, you can listen. You know what I'm saying? You, there's so many different ways you can understand the Bible. You don't need a pastor. But the reason these people think this way is they're still thinking in a Old Covenant, Old Testament type mindset. They're not understanding. You know, again, like I've said in all videos, commandments, laws, all these things were done away with, nailed to the cross, done. We live under the age of grace now. That's it. They don't, they don't get that. So in their mind, they're just like, how can you understand the Bible and I can't? Well, here's, here's the answer, because they read it. If you don't read it, you won't be able to understand the Bible. So you have to read it first. And when I say read it, I'm talking about if there's a word you don't understand, look up the definition from the word. The definition of that word is actually contained in your Bible, in your KJV Bible. It's in there. Look up the definition of the word. That's all you got to do. So uh, I hope this video, you found this to be uh, educating, interesting. Uh, like I said, I'll go back to making some more videos uh, back when I sit back down and actually open up the Bible and we, you know, read along and talk about some other things. Um, I think my next video will be discussing, uh, again, kind of going back to the... Um, the reason why you don't want to be here in the uh, tribulation is that is a doctrine that is in the Bible it is going to happen and this is why I stress why I preach to people reconciliation you know from the Bible so you can be saved you can understand this concept you don't have to go through this because if you are not saved if the, re the tribulation, quote unquote, was to happen next week. I'm going to be gone. Saved Christians will be gone. How will you understand? You're going to have to, again, rely on the Bible again. Uh, I mean, a lot of supernatural events will be happening during that time, during that time period. Uh, an angel will be preaching uh, something called the everlasting gospel to you. It'll be a whole whole bunch of things. I'm gonna do a whole video on that so people can understand the importance of why you want to make sure you understand the gospel, understand how you're saved, understand the truth, and not be believing a lie. Wouldn't that be an awful thing to say you've been saved the whole entire time and you not understand how? You not have been believing the truth. For example, I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. There are people out there that say, well, Jesus Christ forgave me of my sins the moment I believed. Is that what the Bible says? Does the Bible say your sins were forgiven the moment you believed? Is that what it says? Answer, no. There's verses in the Bible, there's actual verses in the Bible that tell you where forgiveness is, where it's located how you have it see what I'm saying you have to read the word not rely on you or another man read the word and a lot of these people are deceived they think they're saved you know what I'm saying they some of them like to use their intellect you know they like to say well it's just it makes sense to me if, if I was you know they almost like they're saying if I was God I wouldn't just let you you're not God God doesn't have the same thoughts like us. And whatever God did is what he did. Whatever he's doing is what he's doing. You don't, de you don't determine what God does or what God says or what he has said. So next video would definitely be helping to reveal to people the reason why you want to make sure you understand the gospel. So you don't have to be here during the tribulation period. All right, have a great day.